ます。The coronavirus crisis and the resulting lockdowns around the world gave rise to a big increase in day trading. In other words, non-professionals buying and selling stocks and other financial assets from home. It can be very tempting to have a go yourself, especially when you hear of colleagues, friends, or neighbours making money from it. But the reality for most day traders is very different. Here's Constantinos Antonio from Warwick Business School. The academic literature so far shows that people that tend to day trade, so you're trying to beat the market by selecting stocks or sectors or do market timing or anything that you're trying to, you know, you're rebalancing your portfolio quite frequently. Trying to exploit short-term movements in prices, so this type of trading does not work. So the evidence suggests that, on average, people that do this, they make some, you know, on gross terms, perhaps zero return. But when you account for transaction cost, then the return becomes、uh, negative. So this is what the evidence suggests. So why is it so hard to beat the market by trading from home? Well, the first thing to remember is that stock trading is a zero-sum game, and when amateurs compete with professionals, you can probably guess who usually comes out on top. For someone to win, someone else has to lose. So it is difficult to outsmart everyone else in the market in picking investments that are not rightly priced. You're competing essentially with hedge funds, with mutual funds, with people that have an army of you know a lot of resources at their disposal to analyze. So it is difficult for an investor that is an amateur investor to develop signals that are better than the signals you know. You know these other、uh, other people have. So in general, and again, the evidence would suggest that whenever these two groups of people interact, like retail investors with professional investors, it seems that the, the retail investors lose more often than not when they try to engage in in day trading and and, and speculate. Of course, if you really want to trade stocks, then give it a try. But Constantinos Antonio strongly recommends investing the bulk of your money in low-cost index funds and simply leaving it there. So buy and hold should be the strategy that people should use. This is what the academic literature would suggest. And day trading is to be avoided. But if people want to do it, of course, you know they they should do it. But do it with caution and don't put too much money into it in the beginning. And also have patience to collect a lot of data points to see whether you are actually a good day trader. So, you know, just by chance you could invest in something that does spectacularly well. Is it because you made the right decision? Is it because you were lucky? It's difficult to say. So be patient to collect a lot of many data points, so that you have a better idea: Am I good at this, or am I not good at this? And if you're, and if you're not good at this, switch to the passive style. In conclusion, day trading is best avoided. If you're determined to try it, then don't take big risks. And remember, in the long run, you're almost certainly better off. Using low-cost index funds.